Welcome to In Bed with Penis Mom. I'm Karen Mangicotti, Penis Mom. If you're wondering why I'm called that, you can look it up on this link <laughs> to my blog. And if you're wondering why it's called Penis Mom in Bed, it's because I'm in bed. Today, I want to respond to a notion that's going around the internet. There was just an article written by, um, I think her name is Amy Webb, that said, we never post pictures of our daughter and why you shouldn't either. And so I'm reading this article and I thought maybe it was farce, but it's not. She's writing it completely seriously. Let's back up and figure out why this article is so irritating. One, why you shouldn't either. Telling somebody that they should or shouldn't do something is crazy, because guess what, Amy Webb or anybody else, you don't know what you're doing any more than anybody else. So stop telling people what they should and shouldn't do. I really think that when people tell other people you should do this or you should do that, it just makes me want to look at them and say, really? Really? Because that's what I want. I want a kid like yours in a football helmet sucking dirt out of his fingernails. I want a little freak show like that. When you tell other people what they should be, it just makes them look really, really hard at why you are a hot mess. So don't do that. Unless you're going to say like, Karen, you should party more. Or Karen, you should watch out before you fall off that cliff. So that's my first thing. Second reason this article is completely offensive because if you post pictures of your children online, you're ruining their chances of future anonymity because that's what we want. Just kids who get to live off the grid. That's what we're trying for. <laughs> we don't want to integrate them into society, but we want to make sure they have an escape plan because that's what we all want. Seriously, chances are Nobody cares about your kid, except for maybe grandparents or your friends. And they actually want to see those pictures. So you can hide your kid away and tell them that the world is a really scary place where people want to reach out and recognize them. Good luck raising a healthy kid with that. And the third reason why it's okay to post pictures of your kids online, because one of the reasons given for you not posting pictures of your kids online is that one day college administrators might look at their profile when deciding whether or not they should be accepted. Right, because the last thing that any college wants is a kid who once had a dance recital or a first day of school. Maybe, just maybe, the college is going to look and find no online presence at all even a little bit and be like weird this kid must be some part of a cult or weird this kid was so effed up they had to erase everything every trace of their existence the fourth reason why it's easy to dismiss people who are like well we never post pictures of our children online is because you know what bully for you you are clearly superior to all the rest of us peasants running around pell-mell just posting photographic evidence that our children exist and eat birthday cake look it's wise to be wise. Post like your grandmother is watching. Because you know what? She probably is. And she really wants a video of those first steps. So post that as well. So be wise, but not paranoid and not superior in your belief that the only way to do things is your way. And the fifth reason why you should post pictures of your kids, throw caution to the wind and live is because you know what? Maybe one day it will bite you. But for right now, every single day you're living in anxiety and fear. Kids are cute. Kids are really cute. People smile. Choose that. Choose smiles. Choose happy. Choose joy. Choose participating in life. And don't choose to be a judgmental douchebag on the internet by telling us why we should and shouldn't do what we're doing. Don't do that. Just post pictures of your kids because they're cute and we want to see them. This has been Penis Mom and Bad. Come back next time.